spectacular view. And we're only maybe 15 minutes away from Kelowna right now. Uh, you've seen the airplanes landing, so we're close to the airport and... Uh, no, no, this is fine. A number of times when we've come up here, we've seen deer down in this area. That's what I'm looking for right now. But uh, it doesn't happen every time. One of the things is you never know when or what you're going to see. I was filming wasps on that branch or that part in the summertime. Coming up here can sure take away things that, well, things that are bothering me. There's just so much craziness going on in this world and come up into this beautiful area and everything is forgotten. But like I said, there's very little snow up here. You can see it in between the trees. I don't even think you'd be able to snowmobile around here. So the Sochi Olympics will be coming on in about a week or so. It starts. Hope they have more snow than we got here. They're supposed to be kind of a tropical area, so I'm not sure. There's 
more falling off the trees. Than Very little snow. little wabbit. Absolutely beautiful. I imagine people in the East Coast aren't impressed by the snow. They've had their share of it. But here in the West, we only got snow in the last few days of January, so it's kind of special looks really nice and like I said we're used to a lot more snow uh, could be feet and feet of it up here you couldn't even come up and there's a Porsche now, nowadays you got Porsche 4x4s coming up so So it's an old cliche to say it, but it's like we're in God's country. And I know that not everyone believes in God or whatever, but uh, uh, the one thing I do believe in, I don't know how we're, or how we came to be, but I do believe that it's extremely beautiful along here. And uh, it's the kind of thing that makes me glad to be alive and uh, glad to be able to be in an area that you can still experience this and see it. and. Uh, not, not just this, I mean, so many parts of our world, throughout the year, all the seasons, but even in places where it's just warm all the time, whether it's in the Caribbean or whatever, the beauty is all around us. And that's, I tell you, that's one of the reasons I sometimes feel depressed, is I wish people could feel and see it and want to preserve it. I mean, I can't believe how many people just, you know, to me it seems like they don't give a crap about it. and. Uh, you know, they see everything as something to be used or, you know, everything has a value. Well, the only value this has is that it makes me feel good. And uh, yet there could be other people up here who would be thinking, well, oh, the trees, they got value. And, uh, well, maybe there's animals around here so we can trap them and they got value. But uh, for me, beauty has its own value. So recently, Cindy and I have been talking with YouTube. Uh, started about a month ago. We get a phone call from them every two weeks, and we're working to uh, build our channel. We have over 150 million views and somewhere around 7,000 videos. And most recently, they suggested that we come up with a video 
for our channel page that will stay there permanently and it'll outline the kind of stuff we cover and uh, seems like a good idea but man we got so many things from hummingbirds and travel in British Columbia the seasons Caribbean politics uh, uh, health care now all kinds of different things and yet I think you could pretty well summarize everything up in something like the view you see here our world is beautiful and uh, I'd like to think that our channel is about showing the beauty of the world and also being a little bit of an activist for preserving this beauty preserving it and making sure that it lasts for generations to come so I'll be working on that video for well, probably a couple of weeks now and trying to put something together that highlights our seven years of travels and, and unique experiences. See, it's not how much snow you have. If they were talking about this on uh, John Stewart Daily Show the other day, that Atlanta only had two inches. And many places have a lot more inches than two, but it's not how much you have. Because up here right now, we only have a couple of inches on the trees, but holy smokes. I wish I could bring more people up here to share in this beauty because it's absolutely amazing. To be honest, sometimes I wonder if I say beautiful or stuff like that way too often, but uh, because I use that in the springtime, summertime, at the wildflowers, at birds, when we're down in the Caribbean, snorkeling along the reefs, wherever, but I can't help it. There is just so much beauty in our world. And if we could entice everyone there to appreciate it, well, maybe there'd be less wars, less conflicts, and we'd be more inclined to appreciate each other and appreciate the world we have. here and uh, a lot of people come up in the winter time snowmobiling ice fishing oh, I heard the bird That's neat. Yeah. you can turn around after the sign I've often thought it'd be cool to come up to a place like this and spend even a couple of weeks with a wood-burning fireplace, even a wood-burning stove for cooking, and just enjoy the silence and quiet and peace that winter can be. And uh, no cable, no TV, no internet, no cell phone, just get away from it all. Even here we can smell the smoke from fireplaces and uh, it's cool. <laughs> 